I don't know how y'all spray, but this is how we spray here in Kansas City. Get them weeds. What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the IPS Pro Sprayer. This is the basic pack of what you would get. So basically it's going to come with a uh, 21 inch fiberglass rod here to, uh, for extension. Then you can also undo this and just spray directly out of this if you'd like. But uh, it comes with a battery. The battery takes four hours to charge, only lasts one hour. So a continuous pull trigger all the way in spraying. Now you can uh, adjust how much you're spraying by this trigger, but this is an awesome thing. Also, what you're going to get is you're going to get a 13 inch PVC tube here for bottles. So basically you hook this up to the bottom, put your bottle in, screw it in here. Or if you have a backpack sprayer or a regular sprayer, you can also buy the quick connects for them. Quick connect them, drill them into your uh, sprayer there, hook this hose up to it, put it in the other end and you can just carry your backpack sprayer around, have this tube go into your nozzle and spray away. So also it's gonna come with a 60 degree elbow here. You're gonna get this uh, cool fan spray. I'm not sure what this is called. I don't know. It could be a 45, it's probably a fan. It's more like a 90. It sprays straight down. It sprays down, yeah. Uh, or sideways. You're gonna get a fan spray nozzle then you're going to get a jet nozzle now one thing about this is it'll also shoot up to 10 yards in height so it's got a pretty good psi behind it in order to do that so we're going to go through we're going to show you some of the things that you can do with this this also uh, if you buy the bigger sprayer now you can buy the seals for this to where you can spray uh, different types of, of things but if you get the pro sprayer with the brass nozzle uh, extension and everything like that then you can spray paint you can spray stain uh, anything like that and then you know of course you just put it in some water or some uh, fuel or acetone whatever you want to clean it out with so we're going to show you what this does andy here has used a backpack sprayer that's battery powered before he's never used anything like this so we're going to let him use this, see what his thoughts on it are, if it's any better than the Sprayers Plus. It's Sprayers Plus. It's the lithium ion backpack uh, sprayer. It has a little longer battery life and stuff like that. But this to me isn't so niche as, you know, a regular backpack sprayer. But you're talking chemical, you're talking pesticide. With something like this, you can do a lot with it. Like you're saying, you could, right. you could do a deck stain, you could stain your trailer. I wouldn't want to put stain in my backpack sprayer. It's not really what it's meant for. Right. But with something like this, you can wash your siding, you can do your driveway. There's a lot of features and uses for this besides just lawn care applications, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. S control. I mean, there's a ton of things. So right now, I think we got a uh, <coughs> jet nozzle on here. There's another jet nozzle. Um, I think this one has kind of a fan jet to it, and this one's just a regular jet. But uh, we're going to go to the side of the house here, show you, you know, some things Let's use it. Do. Let's spray some stuff. Let's use it. Let's spray some stuff. Okay, guys. Andy here with Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And like we were saying, in the garage, there's a lot of different applications that this applicator can be used for, such as tire cleaners, degreasers for cleaning your wheel, even chemicals to help clean and treat the wood on your trailer, such as stains, and even degreasers in that sense. For the grease and oils and things like that you'll get on your trailer on a daily basis even your mowers uh, even cleaning your concrete your driveway your sidewalks even the brick on your house and like we were saying not only just different applications but being able to use this as pesticides and herbicides for your own property treating for any kind of insects and or weed killing products all right guys we're going to show you the stream on this with the wand on here it's supposed to shoot up to 10 yards in height so uh, this would be handy if you're trying to clean the underneath of your siding or clean a tall spot on your vinyl siding you could spray your cleaner or bleach or whatever you're using through this up there and then just spray it off with a hose afterwards so we're going to show you this real quick
course the wind blows like crazy. It blows it downward. So if you're trying to clean your siding, then you know, as you can tell, the wind's blowing ridiculous. You just spray this on here and it puts out a lot in a short amount of time too. Maybe with the wind gone now. Now y'all can tell. You know, it will reach up there. You can clean away. So that works real well for things like that. Or if you're just trying to spray the side of your house for bugs or something, you don't want a fan spray, you can just run it down through there, spray away. Easy as that. I'm sure there's plenty more applications you could use for this, but uh, we're gonna move on and show you another thing you could use it for. If you built a fence recently like this and you haven't stained it or put any weather sealing or anything on it, you switch out your, uh, switch out from the jet to a fan or the other one that's kind of like uh, the ones you would get in a regular sprayer. We're gonna put the fan on here show you how quick this will go i think we'll actually do it on the neighbors we'll do it on mine and move to the neighbors show you two different fences so let me get that other sprayer Mr. Miyagi style, some of that wax on, wax off. Works pretty good, guys, for what it is. So, go in and tell you some of the things about this and uh, tell you what we think and our final thoughts here. So we'll be back. All right guys, so we're gonna give you a final thoughts on this IPS Pro Basic Sprayer. And uh, you know, I really do like it. It really comes in handy because I don't have a battery powered backpack sprayer. I'm not sure how it actually compares. What do you think about it? Okay. For me, just on opinions of this product, for what I'm doing in my business, commercial lawn care, I wouldn't use this product. Right. I personally wouldn't. I would stick with what I have through my backpack sprayer. But as a homeowner, I would want this over the backpack sprayer because I have a lot more choices of things I want to do with it. I don't want to run certain things through my backpack sprayer since I use it in my business and just mess it up. Right. With something like this, being able to, you know, car wash chemicals, house cleaning chemicals, uh, stain. So if you're a guy paint, that does you know, all around type if you, of thing. If you've got a lot of stuff going on, maybe this could be something for you for you sure. You mow yards, you stain decks, you clean siding, you clean roofs you know something like that oh, yeah. then this thing could come in real handy for you for not having to clean out your stuff all the time you just put this in your cleaner chemical spray it and let it clean itself so uh, a couple of issues i did find with it was when trying to screw on one of the nozzles uh, these are just made out of plastic guys but as you can tell here it has come apart i don't know if you can see that i can't even see it uh, but anyway, it has come apart here from me screwing it on. The plastic broke. So that's one of the issues I have with it. Um, I really think the the insides of these, the gaskets, could be a, they could fit on a little better because what happens is some of these, when I put these on, they end up leaking from around here. And I've got them as tight as they'll go. I've got the nozzles as tight as they'll go on the inside. So I'm not sure if that's the gasket on the inside or what's happening there. Uh, usually I can pull it off, put it back on, and uh, it'll work fine. So 
that's just a couple things that I think they could improve on with a basic sprayer. Now, once again, if you go to the pro sprayer, then you're not gonna have any of these issues. 250 bucks and it'll spray any chemical you want. Um, now this thing will not, but you can buy the seals for it to where you can spray more options than just the basic stuff. And definitely for something like this, I would like to see it come not with the extra attachments. Simple is better on a lot of these products. I don't want to have to keep switching out nozzles. I would just, I wish it just had a regular rotation. You know, turn it one way for a fan, turn it the other way and get a stream, just all in one. Kind of like an actual backpack Kind of like how a regular sprayer would be. It's just an all in one piece on this would be really nice. Because you guys know how I am. I'd, I'd lose all this stuff within a week. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm really horrible with organization and that's just one less thing I would want to deal with. But yeah, I mean, I other than that, it's, it's pretty great sprayer for all around. Yeah, basic I mean, it's, it's, sprayer. it's definitely got enough PSI to get the majority of any of these jobs done. Right, and you get know? them done quick. I yeah. mean, it sprays a lot oh, of, yeah. of uh, anything within a short amount of time. It may not look like it, but by, by the time you realize it, whatever bottle you have hooked up to here, what you would normally use a sprayer for, this will go through in four times that. So uh, it goes quick, it goes yeah. real quick. And the um, other thing you're gonna get between the Pro and this, this one does come with a fiberglass uh, nozzle, if you would. Uh, oh, the extension? The extension. The That's definitely something that you can break. Uh, I would want anything that I would buy to come with a brass one. And that's something you get at the Pro model of this is you will get the brass one. Right. So. Yep. That's definitely another pro. So once that. again, this is the basic. Basic. This is your uh, general, probably so, homeowner rated right. product. You're they not going to be. They make a commercial version of this. They do, and it's it's 250 bucks. This one is 150 bucks. So there's a huge jump between the two, yeah. and what all you can do with the pro versus the basic. So you can check them out at ipspro.com. See if one of these is right for you guys, because I mean I really do like it. Uh, for spraying, you know, I'm, I'm used to a pump sprayer. So when I'm out spraying weeds and stuff in a big car lot or something to get rid of the weeds in the gravel, the last thing I want to do is keep continuing pumping. Oh, yeah. So uh, this thing works great for that. So I, I really do like it. Uh, I want to thank IPS for sending me this to do a review on. Thank you. Uh, I mean, it's it's been awesome. It gets the job done for what it is and for what you can do with it. I don't think I'll ever need anything else. So, uh, you, you know, if you do a lot of stuff like this, then you may want to buy a second battery. But other than that, I have no complaints with it. Uh, no, I mean, for what I would use it for as a homeowner, it'd be awesome. Just because, well, in business-wise, I wouldn't want to lug this hose around. Right. But from home, no matter what container you have your chemical or product in, you can just stick it right in it, and that's right. awesome. Yeah. You can just put it in, if you got a paint you're doing you put it right down the paint you got thinner you put it in the thinner bottle now on this longer hose uh you can uh, i've seen people take couplings and stuff and drill into their backpack sprayer or their regular sprayer like this and hook the hose to the other end and it's just a quick connect so they literally just pull this out quick connect it and then spray away um, and it seems to work real well. So, I mean, that's one of the other benefits to this thing is you can pretty much turn any sprayer you already have to work with this. Or you can just do what I do and take the hose, put it down in there, or pull this uh, tube out that goes down to the bottom and hook the hose to it. It will fit around it tightly. Put it back in there and then just walk around and spray whatever you want. So, that's my opinion on this, guys. I, like I said, the only cons I actually have to it was I did have one of these break on me, just literally tightening it uh, to the end of the wand to where it wouldn't. Uh, one of my main cons is definitely going to be the pieces. I don't, I don't want to deal with a lot of pieces and parts to things, just right. personally. But I'd like to see the difference between the Pro model and this model and kind of get a comparison of the yeah, two. Yeah, I would definitely I would like, like to see to, how big of a difference that 100 bucks I would definitely like to try the, uh, the Pro model. Uh, apparently they didn't have any of the pros in stock at the time so maybe we can you know talk to them see about getting a pro model and show y'all what a pro model will do once again go over you know what this will run through it you can buy the gaskets for and the seals to run other things through but the pro model is going to give you every option available out there that you could think of possibly uh, so I'm not sure if the pro actually has a uh, bigger PSI or not on it <clears throat> maybe uh, I'm not sure if it'll spray, you know, a 
Maybe it'll spray 20 yards instead of 10 yards. Maybe it's got a better uh, power motor in there. So this is my thoughts and Andy's thoughts on the IPS Pro Basic Sprayer. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.